Good evening, all of you. Can you see the question? Question number twenty-seven. This question we have already seen. This question, so we are not going to see that question. Uh, so we'll go to the uh, next question. Uh, yeah, this question also you have seen, right? Yeah. Anybody want to try this question? This question. Who can answer this question? Question number thirty. What is this? Already we have seen this question. This I want to check whether you attended my previous session or not. Okay. Those who are attending for the first time, okay, this MCQ session is conducted from 28th August onwards uh, till today. Okay, so that means uh, so every day five, not five, at least ten questions we are solving. So go through it again and again. Okay, so, so that is a uh, like what is that enrichment of your uh, knowledge? Okay, fine. Okay, I think this question also we have uh, seen already. Okay, we'll go forward. Yeah. This question also we have seen no international borders. Uh, yeah, answer question number forty-eight in your screen. Question number forty-eight in your screen. Question number forty-eight in your screen. I am not going to read the question, so it's up to you to. Okay, not visible. One minute. Yeah, question number forty-eight in your screen. Question number forty-eight in your screen. Yeah, everybody answer. Okay, read the question. Take your own time. Okay, I already am saying that the in the exam hall you cannot spend more than two minute. Okay, that's the maximum time. But here you can stop. Okay, being in YouTube you can pass it. You can rewind it. You can go through it again. So what is this? Yeah. So, what is this? Consider the following statement with regard to the formation of new states, like okay, alteration of uh, boundaries <coughs> of the existing state. So, they are asking which is not correct. So, this you have to see. Okay, I don't know how many of you did not see this. So, that is one basic things you should know that whenever this kind of question is coming, they are asking which is not correct. Underline that first. Okay, you should bring that habit underlining it. Okay, fine. So, which is not correct? Okay, Parliament may increase the uh, area of any state. Okay, yeah, we'll keep it there. Parliament can diminish the area of any state. We'll keep it there. Parliament cannot alter the boundary of any state. This is absolutely wrong. Okay, Parliament can alter the boundaries. Okay, then Parliament cannot alter the name of the uh, any state. Okay, uh, that is also wrong. Okay, Parliament can change the name. In fact, the Madras was changed to. Uh, Tamil Nadu by the Parliament only. Okay, then again Odisha became uh, Odisha became Odisha. Okay, so these three and four are not correct. Okay, so that should be the answer. Answer C. Okay, so first and second statement is correct. <coughs> first and second statement is correct. First and second statement is correct. Okay, very good. Okay, so so people are answering. Very good. Yeah, question number 49 in your screen. Question number 49 in your screen. Question number 49 in your screen. Okay, if you want to become strong in the polity, then the book to read is a Lakshmi Khan. Okay, Lakshmi Khan book. Okay, you want explanation? Uh, I'll give you. Okay. Lakshmi Khan, okay, sixth edition has come. Okay. The link for that I have given in the description. You can see, you can buy that if you want, or you can also use PDF. Okay, but having the book is good. It is a must-have book for any competitive exam. You prepare for UPSC, anything, okay, state PSC, anything that is a must. Okay. Yeah, question number forty-nine in your screen. Quick, question number forty-nine in your screen. Question number forty-nine in your screen.
Okay, what does this question says? The Advocate General of a State in India is appointed by the President of India. Okay, upon the recommendation of the Governor of the concerned State. Is it correct? Okay, it's absolutely wrong, Your Honor, because Advocate General is appointed by the Governor himself on the recommendation of Chief Minister, maybe. Okay, so this is wrong. Okay, President will appoint Attorney General. Okay, Advocate General, Advocate General appointed by the uh, Governor. And he is removed any time by the governor. I don't. He can be removed any time by the governor. Advocate general can be removed by any time by the governor. Okay, like this, attorney general can be removed any time by the governor. Okay, who can tell me the qualification to be appointed as a governor of a? So not governor uh, as an advocate of a advocate general. What is the qualification? <coughs> what is the qualification to become the? Advocate General. What is the qualification? Okay. Yeah, qualification very simple. He should be qualified to become the okay judge of a high court. That's it. He should be qualified to become a judge of a high court. Likewise, Attorney General should be qualified to become a judge of a Supreme Court. Understood. Okay, and advocate general belongs to state executive. This question is also getting repeated. He belongs to state, even though he is a lawyer, he is not a part of judiciary. He is a part of state executive. State executive. Yeah. Then option number two, as provided in the Code of Civil Procedure, High Court has a original uh, appellate jurisdiction at the state level. Is it correct? Is it correct? Okay. Okay. Original appellate advisory. Okay. Underline the word. Okay. Advisory jurisdiction at the state level. No. Okay. There is no. In fact, question should be modified. They should not have this word appellate. Okay. Uh, original advisory jurisdiction means. Okay. The advisory jurisdiction. Write down. It's mentioned in Article One Forty Three. One Forty Three. It is up, applicable only to the Supreme Court and only to the President. Governor does not have that role. That means in case of doubt, they can ask the Supreme Court. Governor, President can ask the Supreme Court in case he has got a doubt okay, or any kind of advice. Such power is not there for the governor. Governor cannot ask okay, any uh, advice from the High Court or Supreme Court. Okay, And only Supreme Court can give advice to the President. And that is mentioned in 143. Okay, Mentioned in 143, Article 143. Okay, So here, both the statements are wrong. Here, both the Statements are wrong. Okay, this we have already seen. Okay. Yeah. Question number 59 in your screen. Question number 59. Okay, this is taken from NCRT. Okay, it's a it's a, it's a Tamil Sangam content. Okay. Okay, Marut, okay, Kuravan, Mullai, Naidal. Okay, so people from Tamil Nadu can mark this very easily. But yesterday, I'll be asked in the UPSC CDS exam. But it is there in the NCR. It's not like completely, so you can't say that UPSC is biased to the South Indian. No, it is there in the NCR. They have taken from the NCR. Question number 59. Maybe version of 56 also people can try. We can also try question number 55 as well. Quick, quick. Okay. Don't delay too much. Quick. Yeah, 55, 56, and six, uh, 59 in your screen. <laughs>
Hmm? Answering, nobody is answering. Okay, we'll solve the question number 59. Look at this. Okay, Marudu. Hmm? Okay, Marudu means, okay, what is Marudu? Kuravan. Hmm? And uh, actually, these are actually, uh, they're saying territorial segment. Actually, this is an ethnic uh, people who live in the various parts of Tamil Nadu. Hmm? Okay. We, we, we cannot talk, yeah, say as a tribal people, but this is, in, this is our mentioned in the Sangam. It's our mentioned in the Sangam uh, literature. Okay. Uh, so, Marudha means a person who is engaged in the farming. Okay. So, clog men, hmm? farming activity. Marudha. Hmm? Okay. Kuravan means people okay, living in the hilly, hilly region. Mullai is a pastoral people. And Naidal is a fishing. Okay, people are in the coastal area. Hmm? Coastal and fishing people. Okay, please copy down. See, coming to this session, you should have a notebook, separate notebook for this session and write down all this. Write down this. Revise it again and again and again. Okay. Revise it again and again and again. Okay, so in that case, answer should be uh, A3. A3, B4, answer C. Question number 59, answer C. Question number 59, answer C. Yeah, this is very old uh, question. Okay, uh, Who among the following has given the concept of human development? Okay, this is a very old question. It is repeated several times in the exams, many exams I have seen. Okay, It is uh, Mahabub al-Haq. Okay. He is from Bangladesh. He is from <laughs> Bangladesh. <coughs> Question number 55 in your screen. Okay. Uh, which is again, look at this. They are asking for not correct. They are asking for not correct. Okay. In some countries, sex ratio is expressed as a number of males per uh, females. In India, sex ratio is expressed as a number of female uh, per uh, male. Okay. Anyway, that statement is correct. So we'll, that is not the answer. Okay. That is not the answer. At world level, sex ratio is about one or two male per hundred. This is correct. Okay, this is correct. Okay. Uh, in Asia, there is a high sex ratio. That is wrong. Okay, because in India, it is less. So, it is, so answer here is D. D is the answer. D is the answer, which is not. So, other things you write down can be useful. Either in the MCQ, if you are preparing for mains level, civil service and all, you can write this content. This and all essential. You can pepper with the facts there and here and there. You can score mark and at is and also possible that this is coming in the uh, MCQ as well. Okay, question number 57 and 58 in your screen. Yeah, 60 also. Yeah, question number yeah, now it is visible. Yes, 57, 58, 60. Okay, so yeah, many of you are asking these questions. Okay, will I'll upload these questions? Okay. Uh, in our website okay so check the website i not i will not upload in the app okay because it will be very bulky so check the website uh, www.geniuschannel.net okay i will try to i'll give yeah, i'll give this i have not given but now i'll update okay the link i'll give in the description also you can download the questions and download the question download the question yeah basically question downloading is not required if you're following this it's enough okay when you download it it'll occupy some space after downloading you may not see this but use this video again and again okay it is not like one time it is a revision it has to revise every time now after one week you can start again from the first video second video like this you can start keep on starting it you will get a lot of information so question number 57 Question number 57. Okay. Very easy question. Several times we have seen this. Okay. Citrus fruit like oranges. Okay. Grapes. Okay. All these are. And they are very good in wine making. Okay. Wine yard. Okay. There's a word called bitti culture. Write down the word. Bitti culture. That means wine yard making. This region is very famous. The answer is Mediterranean climate. 
okay citrus fruit okay mediterranean climate mediterranean climate we have seen one uh, difference in the rainfall right who can tell me who can tell me when do they get rainfall that means summer season or winter season mediterranean region will get rainfall during which season summer or winter mediterranean climate will get the rainfall during summer or winter Okay, answer that. Question number 58. Okay, nine us. This is also taken directly from the NCRT. Nine mass, all was again. I think sixth less seventh NCRT history book. Okay, okay. So that you can, yeah. Okay. So look at this again. Uh, those who are immersed in devotion to uh, Vishnu, uh, those who are uh, devotees of Buddha, Shiva, uh, Babeshwara. What is the answer? Easy question actually, but sometimes you get confused with the all was. Hmm? Okay, that is possible. Okay, so when I say Vishnu, okay, the answer is all verse. Okay, nine verse of devotees of Shiva. Answer is C. Answer is C. Okay, write down. There are two divisions, particularly in South India during Bhakti movement. During Bhakti movement, we had two divisions of people in the Hinduism. Some people support. Even now we have like you are a Vishnu. Most of people now in the modern world. Most of them will say Shiva, Shiva. Okay. But those days we had a people equal. Okay. Uh, in fact, there was one Kamal Hasan movie also. I forgot that movie. Mm. In which uh, the, the, it is shown. He, he yeah, Kamal Hasan will be thrown inside the sea. Mm. Okay. Uh, so that, and all they So Vishnu people are known as Alvas. Okay. And nine Mas are the people who are the devotees of Shiva. It was the beginning of Bhakti movement. Okay. Bhakti movement. Who can tell me the names of some of these alvas and nyanmars okay bhakti saints can you tell me it is taken from ncrt so ncrt is a must ncrt is a must <coughs> yeah question number 16 question number 16 okay who among the following mughal emperor was a follower of uh, nakshbandhya leader okay kwaja uh, ubaidullah arhar okay please write down this okay it may be a new information to many the answer is babar the answer is Babar. The answer is Babar. Okay. Nakshbandhya leader. Okay. Kwaja. Kwaja. Ubaidullah Arhar. Okay. So utilize that uh, this one for enriching your knowledge. Yeah. Question number 64 in your screen. <coughs> And 61 also, you can answer. 61, 64. Which one of the following is not a geographical requirement for cultivation of cotton? They're asking which of the following is not. Hmm? Okay, temperature reaching 25 degrees Celsius okay, or more in summer. Moderate to light rainfall. Okay. Uh, medium, 
loam soil with a good drainage okay a growing period of at least at least 500 frost free days at least 500 frost free days they're asking which are following is not okay. not <coughs> okay uh, thing is um, actually this is actually recycled question only okay so most of them they'll ask uh, what is required for cotton cultivation okay uh, here they're asking which is not okay because they have changed this in 200 hmm, uh, days it should be 200 days i don't this be 200 days of frost free okay so this is not others are vague actually they see actually they wanted them you to know this 200 under that's just given for the vague purpose there may be or may not be also okay okay that is okay but the question here is they are checking whether you know that 200 days frost free days are required okay for the cotton cultivation so answer is d okay who can tell me in which soil cotton is cultivated in india which type of soil is cotton cultivated in india <coughs> okay in which type of soil cotton is cultivated in india Which type of soil? Cotton cultivated? Yes, it is a black soil. In black soil, it is also known as regar soil. In Maharashtra, Gujarat, and all, it is being cultivated. So please write down the things. Anyway, these are like 25 degrees Celsius, moderate light uh, rainfall. But this is very important that you write, understand 200 frost free days are available. Yeah. Question number 61 in your screen. Question number 61 in your screen. <coughs> okay. Again, they're asking for not correct as per the 19. It extended the practice of Kamul uh, representation true. Okay. It extended the practice of Kamul representation that is true because it was introduced in 1909. Okay. It was introduced in 1909. It was introduced in 1909. was introduced in 1909 for the muslims and it got extended for the other people in 1919 it made the central legislature responsible to the uh, central executive response to the legislature okay, that means um, presently like we have got a kind of parliament system a like kind of similar things like executives that viceroy governor general and all should be uh, responsible to the legislature should be responsible to the legislature okay and this will come to it again okay. it is also known it is also known by the name montego chumsford reform okay this is correct okay so this statement is correct and this statement is uh, correct it it powered the way for federalism by clearly separating the responsibility of center and the provinces yes this is very true okay this is very true this is very true okay so they're asking for not correct so answer will be b thank you Okay, so uh, what is that? Parliament can remove the uh, governor general. Was that possible? Okay, Gov Parliament can remove the vice rank. Was that possible? May not be no. So write down 1919 Government of India Act. Okay, so don't write which is not correct. <laughs> write what is correct. Okay, write what is correct. It extended the practice of communal representation. It is also known as a Montego Chumsford reform. It is. It has powered the way for federalism by clearly separating the responsibility of center and the provinces. Provinces means state. <coughs> yeah. Question number sixty-five and sixty-two in your screen. Sixty-five and sixty-two. Quick air, yeah, quick air, yeah. you guys are very slow. Hmm? Be quick. The concept of four um, pillar state uh, free from district magistrate of India was suggested by who? Four pillar state. Who suggested this? 
four pillar state answer is ram manohar lohia ram manohar lohia is the answer ram manohar lohia which of the following statement regarding temperate coniferous biome is not correct underline the word not correct okay so you should make a habit like underlining the word not correct simply okay so okay then apply the other logic okay like um, in fact i told you in the other days i told a lot of tricks today i'm saying one thing okay when you are marking anything as an answer you have to like for example i'll, I'll answer solve this question look at this what i'm going to give a tricks today hmm? uh, they are categorized by uh, very uh, little undergrowth okay uh, we'll keep it there they have a growing period of 50 to 100 days in a year we'll keep it there there's a low variation in the annual uh, temperature okay and this may be true okay there is a high range of spatial distribution of annual uh, precipitation annual precipitation means yearly precipitation yearly precipitation okay uh so they're asking which is not correct low variation in annual temperature okay so there's a low variation this low variation is found in the equator right now this found in the equator low variation annual range of temperature that means winter is very cold summer is very hot okay uh that is known as the extreme climate we have seen no in one one session in south india we have a low variation in the annual range of temperature okay uh, here okay here if you go to equator that means very the, the 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 regions which are near to the equator near to the equator will have a low variation there okay so coniferous means they are found near to the uh, poles so totally opposite so answer is this this is not correct this is not correct okay please write down other things on the correct okay very little undergrowth okay because it will be frozen it will be having a snow cover so nothing will grow much okay nothing will grow as such in the undergrowth okay but the, the thing is this is known as by the name taiga forest right down this is known as taiga forest taiga forest see if you want to become a good in the this uh, the climate mediterranean this kind of world geography then the book is known as uh, human and uh, humans certificate of human and physical geography I think. okay and uh, this is written by one person called go cheng leong hmm? okay must read book okay you can't skip this book okay master it would this also it's a good collection you can buy this book okay the description for that has given in the sorry the link for that i have given in the description okay if you want you can buy this it comes around 290 something okay must read book must read book okay you will become master in the all the climate and the world geography okay so these are not taken from that book only okay coniferous forest biome is not correct because uh, the annual range will be very low in the equator only so when we go towards right now when we go towards the poles the re annual range of low variation will not be there okay basically if you have, i'll tell you how it works in equator equator there's no difference between summer and winter almost same throughout the year it is same but if you go to coniferous forest okay, you know have summer season you have got winter season separate separately okay so c is the answer here yeah question number 63 and 66 in your screen. Yeah, read the question and try to solve the question. Don't wait for me to answer. You have to solve. Hmm? You have to solve. Yeah, we'll solve first to 66 question. Okay. So it's a match the following, match the following match the following uh, peak and the hills okay arne modi is there dota beta is there okay uh, dup ghar is there guru shikar is there okay 
Yeah, Arne Moody, okay, most of people could have heard about Guru Shikar. Okay, Guru Shikar is in Aravalli. Okay, Guru Shikar is in Aravalli. Guru Shikar in Aravalli. That means uh, D should be three. We can remove this. Okay, at least if you know this match the following is, is that I don't is this one. Okay, if you know at least one, uh, you can remove this. Okay, so this cannot be the answer. Okay. Uh, likewise, uh, Arne Moody okay, should be in the uh, Arne Malai. Okay. So that of butter is in meal grease. Okay. So that's it. Okay. Dupgar, you know or don't know. Now you got the answer. It is in Satpura. Okay. Please write down that. Okay. So in that case, answer should be A4 and B1 C is the answer. C is the answer. Okay. So Dota beta is also there in the Neil grease. So I can say in Western Ghats. Dota beta. I think is the second highest peak. Dota beta is the second highest peak in the Western Ghat. Okay. Anemudi is the first highest peak. First okay. highest peak. Now, who can tell me in the Western Ghats the height increases from north to south or south to north? Okay, in the Western Ghats, height increases from north to south or south to north. Who can tell me? Try, try. Okay, so please note down this. This question can come. Okay, okay you might, most of you may not know this Dupgar. Okay, Dupgar is in Satpura. Dupgar is in Satpura. Dupgar is in Satpura. Dota Vata is in Nilgas. Ane Modi is in Ane Malai. Okay, Guru Shikar. Okay, okay, is in Aravalli. Aravalli. Okay, Aravalli is an example of relic mountain. Is an example of relic mode. Okay, question number 63. Okay, again they're asking which is the following is not part of the fundamental right, not a part of the fundamental right. Prohibition of traffic in human being. Okay, this is the fundamental right. Prohibition of employment in the factories, the children, that is in okay. Participation of workers in the management of industry. This is not right. Okay, so answer is C. Because this comes under the DPSP, Directive Principles of State Policy. <clears throat> okay, Directive Principles of State Policy. Direct Principles of State Policy. Okay. So here you have to take notes. What are the fundamental rights here? Again, okay, these peaks and the hills which they are associated with, you have to mark it. Question number 67 in your screen. Okay, question number 70 in your screen. Question number 71 in your screen. Question number 68 in your screen. Okay. What is that? Coral reef are not found. Look at this again. Again, they're asking which is not found in which of the following uh, region. Where it is not found. Where it is not found. Okay. So we can eliminate Lakshadweep. It is definitely found there. Lakshadweep is a coral island. Okay. We can rem remove that. Gulf of Mannar also it is found. You can remove them. Okay. You can remove them. Okay. Gulf of Kutch versus Gulf of Kombe. Okay. Now, what is Gulf of Kutch? What is Kombe? Okay. And uh, if you look at this portion of India, okay, like this, okay, Gujarat and all of them, okay, this is known as Gulf of Kutch. This is Gulf of Kutch. This is Gulf of Kombe. Okay. So near Bombay, this is known as Kombe. 
Okay. Now, what is the difference between this gulf and this gulf? Basically, in this gulf, you've got a lot of rivers coming and join. For example, Narmada is coming, Tapi is coming, Sabarmati, Mahi, all the rivers. Okay. So many rivers are coming. There are sediments from the river, right down the sediments from the river. There are a large quantity of sediments from the river and that is why the corals will not be found. Okay. Same the case of Sundarbans. Sundarbans, Ganga is draining. There you cannot find any coral reefs. Okay. So when the sediments are coming and so in the, if there's somebody, say, somebody saying that in the mouth of a river, there will be a lot of coral reef, then statement is wrong. Because sediments will be coming and depositing, they will kill the, uh, this one, coral reef. So answer is D, Gulf of Combe is the answer. Okay. Gulf of Combe, there will not be any. This one. So all the other places, please write down, they have got coral reef, including Andaman Nicobar also, we got coral reef. Andaman Nicobar also, we got a coral reef. Okay. Name the site that gives a valuable information about the India's marine uh, time link with the Coromandel coast. Okay. Again, taken from the NCRT only. Okay. Answer is Arikamed. Arikamed inscription. Okay. Arikamed inscription. Arikamed site is also mentioned. Which of the following is the largest quantity of uh, seashells found in India? Okay, seashells found in India. <coughs> okay, it is backwaters of Kerala. Which of the following state is uh, jute not significantly cultivated? Not significantly. Okay, this question I have uh, I have explained when I was asking another question. So should be easy question for you guys. Okay. Jute is definitely cultivated in West Bengal. Okay. Assam and Odisha. It is not cultivated in Andhra Pradesh. So you have to write this one here in your notes. You have to write jute cultivating states, West Bengal, Assam, Odisha. West Bengal, Assam, Odisha are the states which are cultivating jute. Okay. Yeah. See, if you know the this uh, content or the information already, then also you have to write down because I'm talking about revision here, guys. Okay, it's a revision. It is a revision. Okay, I know it already. No problem. Write it again. Okay, question number 69 in your screen. Question number 73 in your screen. Okay, don't be afraid of the terms and all. Just try. Just try. According to Mahavamsa, Ashoka turned to Buddhist Dhamma when his nephew uh, Digroda preached the doctrine to him. Yeah, that is correct. That is correct. Okay, that is correct. Okay. Divya Vandana okay, ascribes Ashoka being drawn from to the Buddha's teaching uh, to the influence of Samudra, the merchant turned monk. Okay, that is also correct. This is a figure of Ashoka. This is not. So answer will be C. Okay, 69 answer is C. Okay, 73. Okay. What is it? Who is the author of the 16th century Sanskrit text? Braja Bhakti Vilasa. Braja Bhakti Vilasa. Please note down this. Okay. Please copy down this content also. See, your notebook should be finished okay, when we complete this series before the exam. Okay. And I want you to revise this again and again. Okay. You can go to go. This, this video in the same link it will be available. Okay. You can come and search <coughs> date-wise, whatever you want. Okay. It will be available. Take down the notes, everything. Okay. Braja Bhakti Vilasa, okay, what is the answer? The answer is Narayana Bhatta. <coughs> Narayana Bhatta is the answer. Okay, and also writing which focuses on Baraj region of North India, Baraj region of North India. Easy question, okay. Question number 80 and question number 77. I think this will be our last question. 
demographic dividend demographic this question has been at least repeated repeated in five times in uh, so five exams okay at least have this question is repeated for five times okay demographic dividend means okay india is having a youth population working population that means 15 to 59 we have huge population most most of the people are in this category okay so that is known as demographic dividend demographic dividend means working age people are more in india okay so the answer is a a rise in the rate of economic growth due to the higher share of working age Okay, population. This is the answer. Please write down that. This is being repeated at least five times. I have seen different questions. Okay, demographic dividend. Demographic dividend. Okay, food chain. Okay, what is a food chain? Okay, ecology questions. Okay, relationship between autotroph and organisms. Uh, exchange of genetic material between this. Yeah. Basically, it is passage of food and thus energy from one organism to another. This is what the food chain. And so C. And C. You want one more question you want? Yeah. What is this intercropping means? What is intercropping? What is intercropping? Intercropping. It is a time period between two cropping season. No. It is a uh, growing of two or more crops in the random mixture. We can say that. Wait, wait a minute. It is a growing of two or more crops in definite row pattern. It is growing of different crops of a piece of a pre-planned succession. I will think answer will be C. Answer will be C. Okay, sorry, I got a call. Um, yeah, so this one is intercropping. Intercropping means when growing up two or more crops in different row patterns. Okay. So we will see the questions remaining tomorrow. Okay, uh, so you can help me. Okay, if you can share this with the, your friends, okay, or the people who are preparing along with you. So that will help us to grow. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye.